Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. I'm Andy Dixon. This video, I'm going to look at getting TV on the Microsoft Surface, and this applies to any Windows 8 and Windows RT device. So, Surface, great portable device, uh, great to watch TV on, put it in the kitchen while you're doing something, watch TV. Limitation with Surface and Windows RT, it's you can't install tuners on there, uh, you can't get Media Center on there, so the, we can't do the normal ways that you'd expect to do TV on Windows 8. But there are lots of other options and uh, we're going to be looking at some of those in this video. We've got streaming, we've got catch-up services, we've got live TV services and then we've got other services like DVB Link for uh, network tuners. So we're going to look at those and see how they work and, uh, and see which works best and the different options of getting TV on Microsoft Surface. So first let's have a look at an app and one of those uh, for getting TV streamed into the Surface is Tuner Free, and Tuner Free is done by the developer that did Tuner Free MCE, a popular add-in for Media Center. And as you can see, we've got NASA TV, Day Five, Channel Four, ITV, BBC Radio, and BBC TV. There are options to actually um, pick which channels you want to show. So I've blocked or unchecked ABC Australia because it's, it's geo-blocked that channel as the BBC channels will be for you in Australia so you can pick which ones work best for you so here are the BBC channels we have got the option to refresh the uh, channel so it'll, but uh, there's also a background uh, synchronization as well so these are all p channels available on BBC iPlayer um, as you can see everything on there so a nice easy way of finding your programs now due to the DRM uh, limitations placed on by uh, BBC it actually kind of shells out to Internet Explorer to play it through iPlayer when you see when we'll try the NASA TV and that one uh, doesn't need to because there's no DRM and just and just will play fine so let's try and play a channel so it's opened up the channel in iPlayer uh, the program in iPlayer and we can just play that on there So, we could have just used the iPlayer website, and we'll have a look at doing that later, but, but I like the way that the app is laid out. You've got everything here, so you're not loading up different websites. Let's try an ITV show. Let's try ITV. Uh, pick some content. Unfortunately, with ITV, you get commercials, but there you go. So, there we go. So, we've got ITV. We don't need to watch all the commercials. Now I mentioned before that some channels don't have DRM, so you don't have to have that shell out, and NASA TV is one of them. So let's pick one of those. So there you go, you see, so that's playing in, in tuna, inside Tuna Free. So it's not that uh, the program can't embed the content, it's the DRM restriction on there. So there you go, we've got uh, old BBC content, including BBC HD as well. Uh, in fact, let's have a quick look at that. We might be showing with bandwidth on that, but we can give it a try. So there we go, BBC HD content playing. So there we are, BBC HD content playing. We're going to get a bit of buffering on this because I think my network won't be too good for that. But it does, it does play. Um, I think if you're streaming though, for me, I'd be better sticking with the standard def, but that's my uh, problem with my bandwidth. Okay, that's tuner free, so we're watching uh, on-demand content on the Surface or Windows RT and Windows 8. Now another app we can use if we wanted to get live TV is a service called TV Catch-Up. So uh, let's give that a try. So this is TV Catch-Up, this is a website and uh, this is the Windows Store app that we're going to be using. So here we're watching uh, live TV, uh, so we can pick the channels we've got down here. Um, see, fairly decent quality. This is on now, so 
I'll go to BBC2 and, and pick the channel on there as well so I can choose to play BBC2 and I will skip the advert so you get metadata on there, it actually keeps a track of your favourite shows and uh, you can do things like uh, you can actually pin channels uh, to the start menu I think I go on here We've got metadata about the uh, about the program that's on now and the program that's on next. Let's see, I can pin this channel now, so I pin BBC Two. Let's see, capture up BBC Two. Okay. And I could go full screen as well. So now, if I come out of here and go back, here you'll see there's BBC Two, and it shows my favourite shows. It's just started to track some of the stuff I've done. So I'd say a really good app and uh, works really well for watching live TV on the surface. Next app we're going to look at is Film on Television which is a very similar service to the uh, TV Catch Up. Now this there is a free option for the terrestrial TVs you see they're pretty much all on there and there are premium options for these premium channels uh, a lot of which which I haven't heard of uh, so let's just stick with the, the free options let's go on um, to BBC One if I, and uh, so there's the pointless program that was on before and uh, it's free in SD and you've got to pay for HD there's various payment options on their website um, so uh, very similar app to the TV catch up, just different UIs, and uh, I don't think there's any pinning on this one either. So, um, now it, there are options to record the channels and um, have part of the subscription package as well. So that's something we'll perhaps look at on a future video. Now, of course, the other option is just to use the website. So we could use the uh, browser into Explorer, in fact we've still got it open um, and I could just go through that so let's just see how they actually work, so we'll pick a uh, channel or pick a show and you notice the first problem I've got here I can't select it so the iPlayer website actually needs you to click with the mouse uh, so I've got the type keyboard on it so not so good if you're not at the keyboard so that's one more advantage you're going to have if you use tuner free um, I think there is another version of the site more geared for mobile that maybe we could try but uh, yeah. See, no problem playing BBC content at all if I open another chat tab I can go ITV and just as we saw before, uh, it plays no problem. You do have to uh, wait for the adverts, um, but it works fine. One of the other options we've got is to use a program called DB Link. DB Link is a program you install on your Media Center machine and it network enables your tuners. So you can then use an iPhone or iPad client or whatever and uh, watch uh, your live TV coming through your tuners. So. Uh, in my case, I've got HD Home Run connected to um, my Media Center machine with DB Link installed, so we should now be able to get uh, live TV here through my TV tuner. There we go, we've got that's sort of live TV now going through my tuner. So if you can't stream over the internet and uh, you've got DVB link set up, then uh, you can use this. You don't need special network TV tuners. So basically once you've got your media center set up, set up with uh, DVB link, it could be an internal tuner or an external tuner, whatever you've got, you can then get it on here as well. So that's another option. So as you can see, we've got quite a few different options of getting uh, TV up on um, Microsoft Surface. You, you've got uh, streaming service just through the website. You've got apps like Tuner Free and uh, TV Catch Up. 
and then you've got apps like DV Link as well. So there's definitely a few ways of getting TV on the Surface, and all these apply to Windows RT and Windows 8 as well. All these apps are on here are free. DV Link is a paid service that you in, or a paid application that you buy. Details for everything we talked about in the show notes. Thanks for watching. Bye.